What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Top Twice, ladies and gentlemen. It's Frozen City time. I'm sitting here right now where I'm doing this video. It is crazy where I'm doing this video because I'm doing this video right now in Chile. Chile, uh, you know, next to Argentina. It's a beautiful country right now. And we got very good at it. So I'm really excited to finally upload a video in time because that's what. I was actually coping with in the last days. However, in this video, besides doing the Frozen City and Challenge, which is currently like one of those holiday challenges, which, um, I mean, many of you were telling it as well, I was telling it before, I'm not really that satisfied with it. I was hoping for a little bit of like a twist in it, good old ultra rare, like back in the days. However, we have a hill climb challenge here in snow, which is kind of tricky. So definitely stay tuned for this one, lean back, get a cup of coffee, a beer, a nice tea, a tea or whatever you like to drink, um, your beverage of choice and just enjoy the video. And besides doing the challenge and um, going a little bit through it, I want to talk a little bit about Top Rise, I want to talk about the channel, I want to talk about uh, what's next and obviously, um, as I already told you, Guys, I want to talk about what is uh, who won, who won, because I told until the 23rd, you could apply or not apply. You could join the previous two giveaways. You could win um, carbon fiber packs, a ceramic packs, gold. So a lot of goodies, a lot of goodies. Thank you to Hutch for actually providing those. And obviously, you need to tell that, but it's true. Hutch didn't have any saying who can win because I was picking the guys. And I will tell you who won. We got two, two very happy winners, hopefully happy, if those winners will not pick up their price within a reasonable time. Let's say until end of this year. Then um, the next one will be picked. I will most likely pick those guys through Instagram, so if you don't have Instagram, join Instagram, it's pretty easy. Or just at least follow me on Instagram, so join my stories and follow my stories so you see what's happening there. But alright, we're going through it, you can see here I'm actually switching a little bit, hit climb, still trying my best, going for my 50 did not finish points. However, um, hit climb snow is, is more tricky than I thought, totally forgot about how um, like tricky it was could be frozen city by the way any one of you guys saw frozen 2 was it a good one or wasn't a good one let me know down below um i know i know i, I really enjoyed frozen one i know a totally different story right now totally different stories but uh, i did enjoy it i must say good um was it a disney movie i think so i mean almost everything today is disney so <laughs> It's, you have a pretty high chance that a movie is Disney, so just like any Marvel movie nowadays is Disney. But alright, let's actually speak about the first guy who won. Um, so we had this Instagram um, carbon fiber pack giveaway with a ceramic pack with 500 gold, really, really cool. All you needed to do is follow me on Instagram and leave a comment on a specific, on a specific uh, picture which are a specific post which I did there and most of you guys actually got what I meant and plus besides leaving the comment what you need to do is to actually um, tag your favorite brand not everybody did that but most of them I would say at least like more than half let's say 70 80 percent something like this so I wanted to be real I want to be fair as like anyone who actually tagged the brand he had a chance I mean let's be honest that's like if I tell you uh, paint me a picture in red and someone is painting me in pink or in blue and that's not what I asked for right so that's uh, just saying just saying so very easy so many people actually tag brands and I just want to read a couple ones I know if it's not if it's not what you wanted to if, if it's not you winning but um, at least you hear a name here for example going slow 85 said got to be Ferrari as my favorite brand one day I hope my children do well enough in life and buy me one that's actually a very funny comment <laughs> because when you read the comment you're like oh yeah cool yeah my children do well and 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 have one but there's like buy me one a good one 
Uh, Adam wrote Porsche because if I ain't broke, don't break it. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Okay, well. Damn, Plu Plozo. I'm sorry, so many interesting names. Uh, Toyota, I just love the old Supra. I mean, do, are you more a fan of the old or the new Supra? Just saying. Then we got JJ2330, he said Nissan, because I love the Skylands and the GTS. Same for me, same for me. Then we got N735 Dodge, because I love the Viper and Challenger. Uh, good cars, very good cars. Um, I never, did I ever drive a Dodge? I mean, I've been a few times to the US, but I never have driven a Dodge, I think. I think I should definitely need to do that. If you're living in the US and you have a nice Dodge, you know, like CMG, if you have a round, let's go for a ride. Let me know down below. Would definitely be interested in that. Then we got Josh. He's riding Volkswagen. As my dad owns an, ooh, actually a pretty cool one, an MK2 GTS and the IDR is insane. Oh no, okay, and the IDR is insane. Not that he's owning that. MK2, that's a very old school Volkswagen, however, an iconic one, very iconic. Then we got Ben Ben, he's riding Chevrolet because they make the Corvettes and the Camaros. Well, very easy. Uh, oh, then we got again, what else we got? We got like Oli, he's riding. My first car was an old Opel slash Vauxhall because I know, you know, in, in Great Britain it's called Vauxhall. Cadet from the 70s. Then we got Bermud, he's like, my favorite car is a BMW because it has rear wheel drive and with that you can have some fun. Oh, and then we got a long comment here. And this one is, a, is from Tommy Forget. And he's writing that is basically, it's, it's a long comment, you should read yourself, it's a very nice one. It's from Tommy Forget, he wrote his favorite car brand is Pontiac. And he told that uh, this car brand is bringing so much memory to him. Because when he was young, his dad was owning an, a beautiful 84 Firebird formula and an 80 Redbird Firebird. And he used them to bring me to school, removing the T-top and listening to Z-top was unforgettable. And later, he's writing about that he had a beautiful time, actually, um, that um, his father was selling those cars and that he later, him himself, he bought those cars and giving um, kind of like enjoying them with his dad together unfortunately his dad passed away but um, he, just this brand itself and like this nice experience he had uh, yeah was just amazing he really really enjoyed this and that's why Tommy forget uh, this is all I can do but really the story is great and I love I love when cars can create emotions and can help you to bring you together or a little bit closer with your friends, your family. And that's exactly what this brand Pontiac did to you together with your dad. And that's why Tommy Forget, you definitely want something. And um, yeah, just um, I, po I commented below this Instagram post. So I hope you saw it and yeah um, definitely um reply with your user id in top price and then i can send you your goodies tommy forget great guy really really good story very nice story very nice story yeah, i really enjoy the story that almost brought a couple tears to me and it was like that was so nice really really nice then we <laughs> had a second giveaway a second giveaway was about you should let me know how top price should look like in 2020 you know we are almost close we are very close to finish 2019 top price is hold this top price now two and a half years or something like this i don't know um, it is older definitely but it's still going wild and we still have a lot of fun with the game so we want to see where could where top price could go next so and i had a couple of guys here had a couple of guys so we we had like let's read a couple ones so kevin wrote for example for 2020 i want to see uh, top dress to bring toyota because of the beautiful supra and what i wish for 2020 for myself is to finally win my first price car uh, toyota i really hope toyota is coming as well since toyota is joining a couple of um is opening up let's say toyota is opening up for 
uh, more racing games. That's definitely cool. And yeah, uh, he wants to win a prize car. Not every prize car is amazing. Let's let's say it like this: I won the Mi 412, the Chrysler this year, and uh, I barely use it. Um, but however, I do understand what you mean. Is like being competitive in some events is definitely something else. So I hope. Kevin, you will have a chance for that. Then we got Daniel. I want to see Eastern Europe car brands. Skoda, Lada, Yugo, Praga, Dacia, and more cars and tracks for motorsports. Um, I don't know how those cars would compete. In general, I'm mostly against just adding, it's not about your comment, I'm just like adding, I'm mostly against just adding like tons of new cars. Because I want to see them like, just for the sake of adding new cars, I want to have like, a new challenge in top drives. That's kind of what I feel like. However, I think some of those cars could be interesting for uh, Lada Neva or something like this. Could be interesting for for, for good off-roader or something. Would be cool. Would be cool. Then we got Robert. He's riding. In terms of a new car, I would like to see a, a 1965 Chevrolet Corvair. Okay, well, he's very... It won't be that fast, but my dad used to have one, so I think it would be neat. In terms of features, I think it would be cool if you could make your own custom matchups. Custom matchup sounds really cool. I don't know. It's like, is it against someone you know? Against a team member, Bluetooth, or just random online? It's just like something I would like to know. Then we got we got a longer one um, from Jasper. He's writing, I think it would be awesome to have a driver profile in Top Drives. A profile where you can add your name, favorite car brands, and country, maybe even a leaderboard on different events based on the country you're from. You could also implement it in the K2 play, uh, space on your own, uh, discussing in your own language. Okay, kind of like a user profile with like all kinds of stats and that. Um, would be cool. I think so as well as like adding like a little bit of like more, more uh, yeah, like user database so that you could like, kind of like getting closer, like community features in that way. Now we got Mando. New cars are always Welcome, so I wish more cars are in future updates, but also another campaign level would be awesome. Yes, so many people are telling about campaign. I'm feeling like I'm doing, if there would be, there would add now a new campaign, I would finish it in a day. Kind of like that old thing, except if they would only do it for like uh, new cars or new brands. But I feel like if they would do it like this, it would be weird. But maybe like a car series. A car series would be cool. I don't know if you ever played, for example, Night to Nation. When they have new cars now and then, they will add new car series based on that car. So that you can win a certain amount of gold. That means you don't compete with, with others. It's actually only against like, like NPCs, known playable characters, something like this. It would be interesting. Um, Mm-hmm, then we see who else we got. We got Crew, he's writing vehicles from the... Oh my, oh wow, okay, he's writing a long comment. Uh, let's see what additions. I would like, I would love to see new completely different completions. Fuel economy challenge, where you get 0 0.5 liters of fuel. Oh wow, he, oh, okay, I will, I will give this comment a heart so you can see it yourself and like it so you can see it but um really interesting comment very cool very cool um very deep knowledge but which are a simple one which i wanted to show you and which one as well it is really not keel it's actually i think he wanted to say really not cool but he made like a funny version of it really not keel that's k-e-l and uh, and they wrote and he wrote I think they should add a wishlist feature where you select a certain cast and see all car section and there will be a button to save it when you can see the wishlist and if you get it automatically gets added to your collection if you have space and that's actually really cool for example so many times I've seen cars I'm telling you guys I'm like oh this car is beating me and this would be actually amazing to add this car to a wishlist feature so whenever I'm getting this because so many times I'm, I'm seeing cars, I'm forgetting about them, then I'm getting there, I'm like, it's like, ah, I forget about it. So that would be a really amazing feature. So that doesn't mean that all the other features are bad. Absolutely not. I just need to pick one, guys. That's why I'm um, really not cool. Good luck with, um, um, have fun with the new carbon fiber pack. And if you don't pick it up until 31st of October, uh, October, I'm saying, <laughs> 31st of December, we pick another guy. I wish you a pleasant day. There was a casual mobile gamer, and I'm out.